Well, hey there, everybody. Thanks for watching and welcome back to Black Lotus. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about one of the um, strangest, weirdest, most unexplainable in its incidents to ever occur, I think. And, uh, and what we're talking about is the Dyatlov Pass incident uh, that occurred back in 1959. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, I want to bring up that we have a uh, discussion group over at uh, Facebook and if you'd like to join just follow that link I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna paste that link in the uh, 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 description area and what we do if you're into the stuff that we talk about at Black Lotus like uh, cryptids and UFOs conspiracy theories aliens uh, paranormal stuff uh, definitely join our group it's a great group uh, there are no trolls there and we have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I have a feeling this uh, episode will bring up a lot of discussion. I think so, most definitely. And I know a lot of the group members wanted uh, this uh, ep episode to occur. Um, uh, aside from that, uh, be sure to like and uh, uh, when you subscribe, because I know you want to, uh, make sure you hit the little bell so that you are notified every time we do upload a new episode. So... Uh, but anyway, let's get on with this today. Uh, what we're talking about is an incident that happened in the northern Ural Mountains in Russia. Uh, and what happened was these uh, uh, group of nine uh, ski hikers, um, or trekkers, whatever yeah. you would call, would call them. Um, and what they did is they were going through the uh, Ural Mountains and they were, uh, it was supposed to be a 14 day expedition to reach uh, uh, Otorton, I guess it's Mount right? Orton. O what, Mount what? Mount Orton. Orton? Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Um, but anyway, they were supposed to be there in 14 days, and uh, they started off on January 23rd. And when they didn't reach the, 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 the destination on time, an expedition was, uh, uh, a search party was sent out to look for them. And what they found was a really grisly sight. Um, and so on February 2nd, uh, 1959, they found uh, just an awful scene uh, yeah. at their camp. Uh, well, what, I, what I want to say real quick is Mount Orton actually means do not go there. Oh, really? In it does, it does. Right. <laughs> I thought that's pretty bad. And yeah. the spot where they actually were found dead, they, where they decided they had a camp because the weather was so bad, is actually known as the Mountain of the Dead. Mm, mm. So I think that's kind of strange. Yeah, yeah, coincidental. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of theories as to what happened. But uh, Ralph, why don't you tell everybody uh, w what they found? There. Well, actually, what they found was nine dead bodies um, that had seemed to run out of their tent. Now, the tent was found slashed open from the side, like they were exiting out of there instead of the actual front of the tent. From the inside from out. From the inside right. out, correct. Yeah. And they were also have left with bare feet, bare socks, mm -hmm. no extra clothing. They were not prepared for the weather that's, you know, sub-zero out there. Right, sure, sure. Um, and what they found were dead bodies that were frozen and damaged beyond recognition and nobody knows exactly what happened right i mean and and uh, from, from what i one, one of the members had their tongue cut out yeah and and their eyes were, two of them had their eyes missing they, right right there was also a lot of uh <clears throat> excuse me one of them had, had the uh, side of his head was all burnt mm -hmm. um a lot of them had uh bruises and scratches and abrasions but no actual internal damage or uh, skin damage but internally they had their two of them had their ribs crushed right and they said crushed like eggshells with actual two lines of showing where the fractures were mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so they don't know how that something could possibly have done that to somebody without actually marring their skin right right and doing that type of uh deep configuration on them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um well and the thing is 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 that, is that some people theorize that it could could have been a bear or something, but a bear would have eaten them. You know? Right. They they did find the pieces of body missing. One person actually they found part of his hand in his own mouth. Right. Right. It's, it's like just why odd. you know why, the the odd way they found these people makes no sense for mm -hmm. any type. Even with all the uh, theories that are out there, none of them make sense. Well, speak, speaking of theories, I think there is one theory that's relatively plausible, and that's that um, they may have been drinking uh, deer urine 
that because the deer eat a hallucinogenic uh, mushroom. Uh, mushroom fly argic argric excuse and, me and and so and so by drinking the deer urine you know you're supposed to uh, uh, get that uh, right hallucinogenic it's hot. actually poisonous to a human being mm-hmm. and by the deer eating it and then urinating it out it makes the urine makes the uh, hallucinogen of safe for them to drink right and so i mean it, it's 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 i think it's a plausible theory that they could have been hallucinating and just gone mad um but i think i think that that's probably the most plausible theory but there are a lot of theories out there everything from that to ufos to you know little green men and and the kgb and but anyway, tell t- tell me a little bit about the, some of these theories. Well, some of the other theories are uh, KBG agents. KGB. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> um, that actually, that they were uh, uncovered that by the uh, CIA agents and were killed. Okay. But again, with the way the bodies were found, how did they kill them? That's the thing that always gets me is the bodies don't make any sense to any of these explanations, even the shroom explanation. So they went crazy, but how did they end up with all the broken bones right, and right. the burn spots? There's one of them that had burn spots between his fingers. Um, one of the other is a UFO. Now, supposedly there was uh, several sightings of orange orbs in the air on the same time that that was happening. Okay. Now, there's mixed things here that it whether there was actual any rockets fired or not supposedly there was some fired uh, into the air but not anywhere near the pass so they would not have been able to see it i see i see okay but they're thinking that that's that's a possibility mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um one of the other ones was that the hikers, hikers were mistaken, mistaken for prisoners, prisoners that, that had escaped from, from a nearby, nearby prison, prison okay and, and were, were killed, killed by, by the locals, locals. But, but again, again these are weird injuries you, you, th- right. you think that they would just be a shot you know or something like that i think one of the strangest <clears throat> theories is infrared infra sound now what that is is uh where it's actually um a perfect storm of size seismic type waves that would go through the body and cause those type of internal injuries mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. and well anyway the the the, the whole group was led up uh, what was the original name of that pass? I don't remember. What was it? But anyway, it's come to come to be known as uh, the Diatlov Pass because it was le- the 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 whole group was led up by uh, Igor uh, uh, Diatlov. Right. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, just the weirdest thing in the world, man. One of the other weird theories I thought was that they said it could be gra- gravity fluctuation. That since there are some spots in the world where the gravity fluctuates and it's not as quite as strong, and that that it lost gravity and flung them out of the tent into the nearby area. Okay, but again, but, it doesn't explain the injuries. The, well, it the would weird ex- injuries, you know. Maybe the impact of something could could you know, but there was footprints going from the tent there. Right, but and but I mean, injuries such as like you know that one person with the, was found with a hand in the mouth. Right, you know, and the other people with their eyes gouged out. Right, you know. Well, something could have came and eaten sure, their eyes but, afterwards. But why wouldn't they have eaten all of them? All of them, or right. at least and other parts. Why was there no bite marks on the face? Right, Just their right. tongue was out and their eyes were out. It wasn't like something actually dug into their eyes. And didn't you tell me that uh, one or two of them had uh, uh, developed gray hair? Right. Um, it seems like they had all not only gray hair but actually looked physically aged now it's kind of hard to see how they looked physically aged since they were so uh um frostbitten right right sure but um another one is the wolverines that there was wolverines in the area and that they had some discoloration on their skin but the discoloration was very even and wolverines do secrete a uh glandular type type stuff that they makes you smell to get you away from them okay but if they said that maybe this wolverine got caught in the front of the tent and was caught in the trap of the door and that's why they cut themselves out and ran okay. without any things okay. Okay. but that still doesn't explain like we said all the injuries a wolverine is not going to be powerful enough to jump on a guy's chest and crush and cr- all his yeah. ribs yeah. like eggshells yeah. yeah i mean they're fairly large but they're not big enough to do that no no yeah. a bear would be able to do that sure. possibly but again then you would see i think the actual injuries to the skin well, and not only that but i mean you would have they would have found 
you know, possibly paw prints in the snow. Right. You know, and that was the other thing. That. There was no paw prints. Yeah, yeah. So that was one of the reasons why it actually they said some of the natives could have possibly done it because the natives were very uh, um, educated hunters. They knew actually how to cover up their own tracks. Okay. And so it would make it look like there were no other footprints if they were covering up their own tracks. But again, I don't see why these people would have attacked them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it wouldn't explain why they would take their eyes and tongue. And only two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, there's how many of them? Nine? So, I it don't makes know, man. no it's, sense. It's strange, man. One of the strangest theories, too, that's out there, too, is that it was a teleportation experiment and they failed. Okay. That actually makes a little more sense than some of the other things. Right, it kind of does. You, you, know, know, you, you, you know, when you think about the, um, uh, uh, what was that incident called? The Philadelphia uh, the experiment. The Philadelphia experiment. I mean, uh, uh, there have been uh, uh, eyewitness sightings for that right. stating that, you know, they, they were fused to the ship, you know, and uh, many of the same injuries were akin to this. Yeah, if you don't know anything about the uh, Philadelphia experiment, we did do a yeah. uh, episode on that, and that's another very strange incident yeah. that nobody can explain. Yeah, uh, I'll throw a link up for that. Uh, but uh, another theory was that it was uh, ball lightning, that lightning struck them, which would would explain the burns, but again, not explain some of the other injuries right. and the eyes missing in the tongue. That's what gets me every time is the eyes and the tongue. Well, missing. Again, the, the eyes and the tongue, I, 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 I can see birds of prey doing that, but why didn't they do it? To, why, did they, why did they only do it to two of them? You know, I mean, that just seems kind of weird. And why me. did they get gray hair? And, and gray why hair. were they aged? Right, right, right. Why would they run out of their tent with bare feet? Bare feet, right. I in, mean, in, in the middle panic, of a storm. You know, and, you know, you were talking about the perfect storm. Maybe several of these theories combined caused the thing. So maybe there was a wolverine in the tent and they... they it had to burst out of the tent in a, in, a, in, a, in a panic. I can see that. And you would go out without your shoes on because you're like, oh, crap, there's a wild animal in my tent. Right. You know, I mean, it, it would scare the hell out of you. Uh, but it, it wouldn't explain all of them, you know, I, all, all the things that happened. You know, I mean, so maybe it was kind of a perfect storm where several different things happened. You know, uh, uh, a bird of prey came down and ate out. Their eyes, but again, it's only two of them. Why not the others? You know, it doesn't explain the the uh, the person's hand in his mouth. You know, I mean, it just doesn't explain a lot of it. But well, also, there was the another thing that was very strange is that some of their cameras were missing. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. They had uh, film from cameras, but there was only uh, I think like two of the cameras of the four that were supposed to be there. Some of their lighting film uh, features were broken, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that were in the tent. Um, and again, the tent was cut from the inside to get out. Why wouldn't they just leave out the front of the of the thing? Right. right. The, the, they found broken tent poles and broken uh, ski poles that looked like they were trying to prop up something. Mm -hmm. um, just very odd. So here's my theory. My theory is that they were drinking the deer piss. They got they, they got really high on hallucinogens. They go into the they go into the tent, they see the Wolverine in there, they freak out, they tear through the tent, they go outside in their bare feet, a UFO comes down and burns them. There you and, go. And mutilates them. Another weird thing is one of the uh uh girls in the uh expedition, she kept a diary. Okay. And for several days before this, she was saying that they're in her diary that they were headed for something bad was going to happen she there was a whole sense of doom in all her things she was writing really? like she knew something was wrong mm -hmm. and that that throws another light on it that you know did something did they do something that maybe pissed off the na or the natives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the natives came to retaliate and then they had to run and that's why they ran with no shoes on Hmm. I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense. Why would you go into the middle of this very cold region and actually leave your tent? They're, they're, these were not like these were amateurs. These were experts. Oh, who sure. Were, right. Very well seasoned in hiking and mm -hmm. skiing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they were all young. They were all in their 20s and 30s. So it wasn't anything like, you know, they didn't know what was going on and what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know, man. You know, I've, 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 I've known about this incident for a long time, and I I have wanted to do an episode about this because I just, I, I find it fascinating. You know, I mean, this is, this is something that occurred back in 1959, and they still have no explanation, you know? Right. There actually is a really cool website out there that if you yeah. wanted to look into this more. Um, and it's- believe me. Uh, you can go down a serious rabbit hole with this. I mean, because there's so much out there about it. <laughs> yeah. It's called the uh, DetolovePass.com. And it has all about the rescuers, all about the search. It has um, actual pictures of the deaths and uh, charts that show exactly all the different injuries that they had mm-hmm. because all of them had very certain you know one of them had pieces of lip missing they had abrasions in certain areas nothing was very um cohesive on all of them mm-hmm. they all had mm-hmm. different interesting strange well, and, and that's why i think they, they, they can't they can't explain it is because all the injuries were a little different right you know and you'd think that if, if a predator came upon them um, ate the tongues and the eyes and the lips and that kind of thing, you know, um, that's all well and fine. But it doesn't explain all the other ones and, and the mutilations. It has their diaries that you can actually see. The, it has all about each of the hikers. Let's put it this way. For the last three or four days, I've been reading this on this website. And there is so much to it. I, I didn't even finish reading everything because mm-hmm. there was so much information. Yeah, yeah. But it goes into depth on each of the type, different types of theories and where it uh, they came from. Um, it goes into has pictures of tons of pictures from their cameras, which I found very interesting. Also, and of course, pictures of their bodies when they were found. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the what we have up in the background here, uh, uh, that's actually a picture of a few of them. And the one standing in the foreground there is uh, Igor uh, Dyatlov. And uh, but yeah, yeah, interesting stuff. Yeah, man. Uh, again, we have a new group over at uh, Facebook. Uh, definitely check it out if you're into this kind of stuff. Uh, and I'm sure you are if you're watching. Uh, and it's uh, called the Black Lotus Discussion Group. Uh, so just uh, click on the link and uh, click join and you will be approved almost immediately. So anyway, let's yeah, get out of here for the day. Sounds good. I'd like to hear people's comments on what they think happened. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, don't, again, don't forget to like. Uh, we lo- we love to see the uh, little thumbs up button. Uh, so, um, and, uh, when you subscribe, uh, hit that little bell and, uh, so that you can be notified, uh, anytime we upload a new one. So anyway, so, uh, again, thank you for watching and, uh, do your own investigation into this stuff. Uh, and le- like Robert was saying that, 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 that website, the diatlovepass.com is fascinating and you can spend hours at this thing yes. looking through this stuff. Uh, but anyway, until next time. Keep thinking and definitely question everything.